I'm sure most of you have seen how you can mow and bale at the exact same time. But what about wrapping and auto-loading also? This combination uses four mods available on the mod hub for all platforms. The first one is going to be the mower and wrapper with hitch. That's your Krona Big M right here. The 450, you can customize this thing in just about any color you want. And this wrapper right here also comes with it as well. The next mod you're going to need is the K-branded silage pack. Yes, it's spelled K-U-H-N. We call it K-brand around here. Now, this is by Solar Guy Modding. What's so awesome about this one? Well, it comes with this right here, this little extension part out here. Um, it kicks all your other stuff over to the side. This is the only one that you can get for all platform right here, the K-brand silage pack. The third mod you're going to need is the Lizard Platform Trailers. This is by Hispano Modding. The reason I like this one, because you can hold 42 bales. And the last mod that you're going to need is the front lifter. This is by Pepe978. Now, you can't see it here. It turns it invisible, but trust me, it's there. To find the mower, all you need to do is go to vehicles, down to mowers, and then you're going to go across until you see the big M450 with the PTO. That's really important. You can get this thing any way you want. Like I said, you can change up the main color to just about anything right here. We're going to go ahead and make this orange and blue because I really like that. Um, let's change the yellow to green. I don't know why, but that looks awesome. Let's go ahead and get this. To find the baler, go to tools and then to balers. You're going to go all the way across until you see this one right here. It says the SB1290 ID silage special. This is the one that you're going to need. Now it does have that extra part that's sticking over to the left hand side. That's very, very important for this setup here. We're going to go ahead and uh, leave this thing with some crawler tracks. Those look absolutely awesome. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the color. Oh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and make this one yellow. For the front lifter, go to tools and then miscellaneous. Going to come across here until you see front lifter. We're going to go ahead and make this one, I don't know, blue. For the wrapper, you need to go to tools and then bail wrappers. And then you're going to come across until you see the one with the icon right here. Okay, this is the important one. You don't want to get the 4014 ultimate. That one does not have a hitch on it. If we come around here, you do not see a hitch on the back of this one. You want the one that has the hitch icon in the top, okay? And that one here now has that hitch there in the bottom left-hand corner of the machine that you can see there. So I'm going to go ahead and make the full color on this one. Let's go ahead and go with a, a pink. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and make this thing, I don't know, green, a metallic green. That is awesome. And the last mod you're going to need is under tools and then bail loaders. You're going to come all the way across so you can see the lizard platform trailers here. There are four different options. You can get one that holds 28 bales, 32 bales, 36 bales, or 42 bales. I go ahead and like this one right here because it's got a lot of maneuverability. That whole front axle section right there, it twists and turns almost a full 180 degrees. So... As I'm going through and making these turns, it just kind of pivots and gets out of its own way, right? One thing that you do want to make sure you do, automatic bail loading. You want this to say yes. Now that I've got all my equipment, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and attach my front lifter here to the back of the mower. Now, this is not going to be permanent. It's only temporary, just so I can do one thing here really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and go like this right here. I'm going to connect this. And then I'm going to put this into a straight line if I can uh, get over there. So the reason I want to do this is because that trailer is incredibly difficult to back up um, if I'm trying to piece things together. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and attach that right there. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and disconnect that again. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drop this down right here. I'm going to go back over, pick up my baler now. And then I'm going to reattach the front lifter to the uh, the mower here, or the, uh, the baler. Now I'm going to go ahead and reattach my front lifter to the baler right here. And you can see it disappears. Now whenever I back up and pull forward, it's like, it's like not even there, right? So I have to detach, and then I'm going to reattach. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back this up now. To right there and because of the invisible portion of this it works right now it doesn't show that it's there but it's there once i go ahead and start moving now you can see that everything is good to go 
Now what I got to do is go ahead and start unfolding everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here with my main mower. Go ahead and hit X while holding my L1 to unfold that. I'm going to hit triangle. That moves me back to the baler. going to go ahead and hold my L1 and X again. That's going to unfold everything. So as you can see, things are moving around and it doesn't look like it wants to do what it's supposed to, right? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hold my uh, triangle and move back to the next piece of equipment here. We're gonna go ahead and detach, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is come back here, detach, and then reattach. Now this takes a little bit, I am sorry, it truly does. But once you get this, it is gonna be absolutely awesome. So now everything is reattached there, all right? We're gonna come back here, unattach, reattach, and it's just a, it's just a product of having this um front lifter on here whenever you do it like that it kind of gets complicated just remember if you start seeing spaghetti detach it and reattach it all right now i need to select my wrapper and i'm going to go and hold l1 and x again that's going to unfold it and another thing i want to do is go ahead and turn on automatic drop all right so now that that is on so now i'm going to be good to go as i start moving forward you can see that everything really starts to line up now, one thing about the mower, you can see that it's in widespreading right now. So I want to go ahead and hold my R1 while I've got the mower selected. And I want to press down on my L analog stick. All right, so that's going to be swath dropping or left swath, right swath, or the whole thing. If I leave it on widespreading, it's going to mow everything and just drop it straight down. So I want this on swath dropping. That's going to bring it right out the middle. It's going to throw it directly into the baler there. And then it's going to go out of the baler, into the wrapper, out of the wrapper, onto the auto load trailer. And it's going to be absolutely perfect. Now, this may not be the fastest combination in the world, but to do all four of these things in one pass, just set your worker off on that field and then just reap the benefits in a couple months when it's time to sell the silage.